There we go. Oh yeah, nice and to the side. Hey, what's up guys? It's Grant here, and today I have my PC tower, which we will be doing some hardware configuration slash modifications before we get started with the home lab. But before we uh, do anything to the hardware of this thing, we are actually going to dust this thing off because uh, you gotta make it look presentable for the YouTube videos. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing dusted off or yeah. Yeah. Those pans though. Okay, I'm out here in the outside and let's go ahead and get this thing compressed of air with air compression. I think this is good enough. I think that's good enough. Just joking, I'm not actually gonna do that. That was stupid. Well, that was a really, really bad take of air compressing my PC. In today's video for this home lab uh, project, I will be installing a clean hard drive, nearby hard drive, and I'm going to be installing this into this PC. I already have a hard drive that I don't really feel like messing around with, and I'd rather just have a clean installation, so I'm gonna be installing this hard drive and then setting up a clean, image of Ubuntu on that hard drive. This is going to be a Linux. And so everything is going to be centrally uh, managed through a base operating system of Linux Ubuntu. I see this as an opportunity to uh, work with Linux directly with hardware and yeah. Um, and then after that, we are going to install VM Workstation Player Pro on Ubuntu. And this is where the home lab will reside, I guess. So let's go ahead and install this hard drive. Yes, I know cable management sucks. I was 13 years old when I built this PC. I was pretty proud of myself, but please don't make fun of me in the comments. I know it's really, really horrendous. I went ahead and bought a simple Seagate Barracuda 2TB hard drive on Amazon. It was good, re good reviews, I, I mean I really don't care, it's not that big of a deal, so this is what I bought for the hard drive. Wow, that was quite quick. Alright, so I've hooked up a monitor and a keyboard so that I can enter the BIOS and see what's going on. And I will plug in the flash drive here in a moment. So the next thing to do is to see if this thing turns on. Alright, so I have to now install Ubuntu. All I had to do was make sure that it was being booted up into the USB drive, and now we can install this onto a hard disk. All right, as you can see right here, we have the Ubuntu installed. I have my USB, my bootable USB right here. Everything was pretty easy. All we had to do was just use the default configuration for this and uh, yeah, so it was pretty easy to uh, create. So I have successfully established an SSH connection from my Ubuntu to my laptop workstation right here. All I had to do was download open SSH server on Ubuntu and then connect to it through PuTTY on my workstation. And now I am connected remotely. Um, a little bit later, I'm probably gonna figure out some sort of virtual client that I can use to connect to it, whether that's RDP or some sort of VNC service. 
uh, but for now this this will do the last thing I need to do is install VMware workstation player and I think that this part will be done for the home lab all right guys we have VMware workstation downloading and once we're done with this we're done let's go all right so I am finished with part one of the cybersecurity home lab project uh, overall, I would say it was pretty successful. I think uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and figure out if I need to get VMware Workstation Player Pro, as well as set up some sort of remote desktop client uh, in addition to the SSH. And I'll probably do this all off camera. The next thing that I will be doing after that is uh, go ahead and start setting up my centrally managed AD server and I will most likely be using a Windows Server 2000 something, I don't know yet, to set up my AD centralized server from here. If you guys want to uh, learn more, just more detail about how I did this project, what I did to come up with it, uh, you can follow this project on my website. The link is here on the screen. Uh, you can read more about what is going on within this project uh, in addition to these videos. Until part two, I hope you guys enjoy the video and see you in the next one.